Yes. Okay, so today we're going to see um, um, in, in a manner where uh, flip-flops uh, differ from latch. So main difference between a flip-flop and latch is that a flip-flop normally have a clock. So this is like uh, an uh, enable uh, enable a switch. So it depends whether the flip flop will be triggered by the positive edge or negative edge of the clock. So what we mean by positive edge of the clock? So if you have the if you have clock sequence like this, <coughs> you have a positive rising edge uh, going up. So whenever this go up like this, so this is a positive edge. Whenever it goes down like uh, towards this from up a uh, high to low, so this is a negative edge. So this is negative edge. So why is say negative edge? Uh, edge is means that uh, sampai hujung. So when it's uh, reached to the the end of the cliff, for example, and it fall down uh, from high value from one to zero is going to negative way. So that's why you call negative edge. So this is like the edge, the end before the climbing the hill. So it go up. So this is a positive. Uh, H. H means a uh, So it will be triggered uh, by other positive or negative H. So you need to look at uh, the bubble. So if there is a bubble, it's a negative H. So there's no bubble, so it's considered is positive H, uh, positive H trigger. So the way D uh, latch and D flip flop defer is that in the D latch um, you don't have this uh, clock. Right, so now um, in the D latch you have what you call enable, but now instead you have this, uh, this uh, clock uh, triggered uh, edge. So it depends, uh, so if it's a positive Edge. So this shows that the arrow goes up. So during this uh, time when the sequence uh, goes from low to high, so it will uh, D will follow uh, a Q will follow D, right? So Q will be one if D is one. Q will be zero if D equal to zero. Again, uh, remember set is focusing on Q. So the main output of interest that you want to see is Q, is the set. So whenever you press D, uh, input 1 to D, so Q should follow. Whenever you put input uh, 0 to D, and then you have this uh, 0 will follow. <laughs> right, so for the positive H, so it will be active on the rising edge. Um, okay. For the negative edge triggered, so it will behave, uh, respond based on the clock that going down from high to low. Accordingly, so D and Q will follow accordingly. <clears throat> okay, so there's another uh, flip flop that is called uh, JK flip flop. So there's a J and also K as input. <clears throat> okay, the question is that why JK flip flop was uh, is introduced, or why, or what is the importance of the JK flip flop? So if you anybody can guess why. Uh, JK flip flop is introduced from the video that we see earlier on. So, kenapa kita perlu this uh, JK flip flop? Uh, 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 uh,
kan yang flip flop biasa tu dia ada era kan lepas ada satu masa tu ah JK flip flop ni untuk el ah untuk buang era kat situ ah yes yes dia ada satu dia panggil uh, invalid state kan so kalau if you remember from the video kalau ada dua input uh, dia akan uh, macam kalau SR lash uh, SR lash or SR flip flop that we introduced earlier kalau kita tekan dua-dua um, set and reset as one so dia akan confuse dia akan masuk ke invalid state so the purpose of this uh, JK flip flop to make uh, to apa ni to eliminate that okay terima kasih ama So this uh, JK flip flop is uh, more versatile in the sense that kita boleh handle uh, that invalid state. So that invalid state happen uh, before if both input kalau previously you have a uh, SR set and reset. Uh, for D uh, is you just only have one input uh, but D has limited capability. So if you go back to SR latch or SR flip flop. So when this uh, both J and K is equal to one. So this is the state that we are interested to see. Um, so the output change state uh, toggle. Toggle means that. Uh, so you know what is set. So set means that it will follow J. So J is almost like similar to uh, S in the SR latch. Uh, reset is basically it follow K. So it will be in the reset. Uh, reset. Uh, the, our interest for the reset is actually uh, for Q. So just focus on Q. So don't focus Q bar so that you don't confuse. So just focus on Q. So whenever we set, so this will be high. Whenever we reset, press K, so this will go to reset. Whenever there's no no input here or zero and zero, uh, it will be whatever current state that Q is. So there's no change. So this is the state that we call latch. Latch means that uh, it's hold the state. <coughs> so for example, if initially you press Uh, one uh, uh, for J and then the state of the output will be one. Uh, if you press change J to zero for the next state, Q will be remain as one. Uh, Q will be the state of Q, right? Def, uh, so that is the, the term latch and hold means. So if we if we change the state um, now we change the state for the next sequence will be um, k equal to one and then it will change the state to zero. So we will see this in the sequence or timing diagram uh, later. Right. So so the 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 new thing that is introduced here is the concept of toggle. So what happened in toggle is that Uh, let's say if we we uh, the next sequence so let's say we go from this sequence to this sequence and then from that sequence go to this sequence and to this sequence so if uh, suddenly the 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 first moment is we press one and then the second moment we press zero and then the third moment we press one here Uh, so it will change the output accordingly. So and then the next sequence, if let's say the fourth sequence we press uh, one here while holding one here with one here. So what happened to Q? Q is basically it will toggle. So let's say the previous state is zero. So Q will be Q bar or it will be one. So that is the next state that you're going to have. So Uh, this can be described maybe easily in the timing diagram. So let's say you have um, J. Uh, initially, we say that J is one and then uh, is zero. So the first one J one and then J zero 
and then the third state is j still zero and then the fourth state is j is equal to one so just consider that and then k we have for example the first state is zero so this zero and then we have k the second moment is still zero and the third moment k is one so this is our third moment k is one and then the fourth moment k is one so i hope you can follow my my sequence here right so what happened to q so of interest we want to see q so q initially at the first moment q will be one because it's follow whatever state that j is and then the next moment q will be zero because it follow uh, so this okay so this is still uh, so, I think I need to edit this one. so let's let's do this again Okay, so initially uh, Q, Q will be, Q will be one. Q will be one because uh, it follow the state of uh, J. Okay, the second moment is basically Q will remain as one. So this is the state where uh, no change or it latch with the previous state because this uh, there's no we don't uh, press any reset we don't uh, nothing will happen because of j go to zero so the moment you you reset here so you will go to zero so this is the moment that you reset you go to zero which is the next state here the third moment and then whenever you hold this position j high and also k high it will toggle the meaning of toggle is that now zero that will become one so that is the the state that i'm referring here so maybe just put different color so one here refer to the one that happened in this moment uh, because it toggle from from zero to one, so this is the the moment that we change, and then um, take another pen color. Q equal to one here refer to this state. Whenever uh, both both input here is zero and zero so if we want to relate this uh, timing diagram we always refer back to this uh, truth table okay any question about this so, so yeah uh, so q dengan q bar kat situ dia mengikut pada current state lah Yes, kalau, yes. kalau J0, K0 Kalau current state sebelum J0, K0 adalah high Maksudnya Q dekat next dia still high Betul, betul uh, No oh, change okay, So this is means that no change No change ni dia bergantung pada state yang sebelum ni uh, Toggle pun dia ber, uh, kalau Bila dia letak Q bar ni pun Toggle ni dia bergantung pada state yang sebelum tu so no change means that kalau high dia akan stay high kalau low dia akan stay low uh, yang toggle ni pula dia akan terbalik toggle ni biasa kita balik lah so dia akan daripada uh, ni low dia jadi high macam tu ataupun daripada high dia akan jadi low alright so this is uh, the sequence that I show here untuk for example untuk this sequence kalau kita ada different sequence for JK say we have different sequence 0, 1, 
zero one four G. Let's say four G, and then for K we have one. Uh, semua muan kan So dia punya output ni akan jadi different lah So dia akan bergantung kepada Kepada uh, Current state dan also previous state So that's why dia panggil sequential So sebab dia bergantung kepada state yang sebelum tu Alright Okay so Right so kalau kita tengok kat sini What is the What is the output Of Of uh, Q. So what is the output of Q for the JK flip flop uh, given the following uh, input shown? So now kita ada so the punya input ni ada tiga. So let's get the pen. So kita ada tiga input. Okay, so kalau kita tengok kat sini uh, with the truth table that you have seen before uh, so what happened uh, here? Uh, yang mana yang belah? Kat situ kan ada belah kiri ke belah kanan? Yang, okay, daripada sini ke sini uh, High So, okay, so this is high um, for J, uh, remember this is for set kan, set K ni yang kita guna untuk reset kan So, so this is the condition bila kita nak set So, mana lagi, whenever dia tinggi uh, Actually, a pot, uh, adalah keadaan yang mana dia akan uh, set Set bila J adalah high dan K adalah low So remember, uh, look at the truth table uh, yang tadi So kalau kita ada Okay, I better clean this one <coughs> Okay, let's try it again Okay, so the point here <coughs> Kita tengok kat sini, okay, so kalau ini adalah high and ini adalah low, this is the condition yang kita tengok kat sini, kalau J adalah high and then K adalah low, is the condition for set. So what we're going to expect is that Q adalah ikut J. So this is the condition yang kita panggil akan set, right. So dia ada juga uh, dekat sini, tapi kat sini dia jadi uh, jadi high and also uh, high dan high kan. So ni adalah ni adalah toggle kan. So maybe tukar color. Tak payah tukar color. Lambat. So this is toggle because this is high and this is high. Okay, sebab kita interested, sebab this is clock ni adalah dia akan aktif dekat rising age. So, kita tengok dekat line ni saja, dekat rising age ni. So, ini kalau ini adalah high, ni adalah low, apa akan jadi? High. Okay, dia akan jadi high, dia dalam condition set kan. So, kalau the last bit here, so this is low and then this is low. Apa condition dia? Latch. Ha, latch ataupun no change. Yeah. Changes. Ha, no change. So, kalau kita draw the output. So, uh, the first is that it it uh, it is uh, on the leading edge of the clock. So, bila kita cakap leading edge of the clock, dia on the rising edge of the clock. Okay, rising edge of the clock. Dia akan trigger... Uh, output to respond to J and K kat sini, so the output will be high, kat sini dia will be high as we said, it will be high so yang this one, dia akan toggle, so daripada high, dia akan jadi low and then, kalau kita tengok kat sini, uh, dia akan set dia akan jadi high again kat sini and then, for this moment dia akan follow whatever the previous state, so this is Looking at the previous state, looking at the previous state, whatever the previous state. 
and then you can draw the line uh, together after that. So that's how you determine the output sequence. Okay, ada soalan? Okay. Bila dah tengok ni, rasa macam boleh faham lah. Tapi sebelum tengok tu macam tak faham. Okay. So the D flip-flop does not have the toggle mode like a JK flip-flop. But one of the way to toggle it is to hardwire. Hardwire means that physically uh, take a cable or solder the input to the output here so then it will it will toggle uh, based on on q bar right so this is used in counter so later we're going to see how counter works so this is a uh, if Q is low, Q bar is high. The flip flop will toggle for the next uh, clock edge because of the flip flop only change when the active edge. The output will only change one of each uh, clock pulse. So walaupun kita kita nampak macam seolah-olah so uh, D akan always similar to Q, but we have to see uh, later on. So kalau um, show the timing diagram kita. Sebab Q ni, dia akan uh, respond based on D um, but dia akan berubah based on the clock sequence here. So the clock sequence here akan menjadikan Q bar ni, uh, Q uh, berubah uh, state. Let's say 1010 10 depends on how fast uh, the clock is. Right, so uh, in the video, it's mentioned about preset and also clear. So uh, the video earlier, it doesn't explain what is a uh, preset and what is clear. So in the synchronous synchronous inputs uh, for D or JK inputs, uh, most of the fifth lot are asynchronous. So asynchronous means that uh, the if you look at the timing diagram, for example, between uh, here, so it's not it's not necessary. Uh, so this is example of asynchronous because sini dia tak selari, dia tak se sebaris dengan ni. So, kalau dia synchronous, dia akan dia akan sama dengan masa uh, clock dan juga uh, J and K tu. So it depends on the system. Other system is synchronous. Other system is asynchronous. So they all, the output only affect um, this the circuit. So two input labeled by preset and clear. Uh, this is used uh, can be used together in the in the JK flip flop. So let's say if we have uh, this example. Okay, take a look at this example. What do you expect to see uh, in the output Q here? So always our interest is to look at what is the output Q that we want to draw here. So now input kita the instead of one to three, we have another another mode that is uh, called uh, preset and also uh, clear. So preset and clear ni dia function dia lebih kurang macam set and reset juga. So this is an additional uh, button or additional pin that you have. Okay, kalau kita tengok kat sini, uh, the most important thing is that we have to determine first dia uh, on the rising edge ke on the falling edge. So this is uh, tak ada bubble, so this is on the rising edge. So rising edge of the clock, so they can prove based on the every single moment that uh, this uh, line uh, go up, right? So this is the time where it will change. Okay, then next you need to see. Uh, so for example, this is one, uh, this is zero. So this is the condition where you you um, you want to set the Q that go to high. 
Right, then you have uh, this is one and then this is one. So what happened one and one is a toggle. And then you have one and zero. So this is um, set again, right? So this is set again. So this is one as this is zero and then this is one is a reset. Yeah, this is set. One and one of them. Okay. Okay. Then you have zero and zero. Match. Uh, so okay. So and then the role of uh, the role of uh, preset and clear um, will be. Um, will be uh, the punya role adalah untuk set dan juga untuk uh, reset ke kat sini. So it's an additional uh, button untuk kita synchronisekan dia. So if you see uh, the output, okay so maybe uh, we should have drawn the output earlier. So kalau ini adalah should be high uh, because this is high and then all the way until the next uh, clock sequence and then this is will be uh, low because the toggle of the previous state and then whenever you press um, preset uh, button because it's active low so you go up during this uh, particular moment uh, so it almost like an uh, in interrupt button. So and then you have here is high. And, uh, so this is set uh, the moment that it set. And then because this is reset, reset it goes to basically. So this is uh, we put Q. So now Q equal to one. This is Q equal to uh, Q bar, it will change. Uh, so this is Q equal to 1, this is Q equal to 0, uh, this is Q equal to Q bar, this is Q equal to Q, right? So then it goes to 0 because this is the output that you expect in the reset, and then it become Q bar because toggle, and then when we when this clear. Um, pin is pressed so it will go to reset low and then this uh, let's look at the state before is zero and then it becomes zero so that is what happened uh, for the output Q so you may have to try this again for you to understand the sequence Okay, so another part for flip-flop is uh, the concept of um, propagation delay and few other things. Because even though here we see like it's a it's a it's a, a sharp uh, sharp uh, transition from low to high, and then transition from high to low. Even though it looks like a very sharp uh, transition, but in actual if you zoom in to the to the clock and also to Q, so it's not really sharp. So there's some uh, like a rising here. It's not 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 instantaneous like that. Not hundred uh, percent clean like a uh, very sharp edge. So it's actually the transition is uh, quite gradual. So the propagation delay time is defined as the the time between the the rising and uh, falling of the output is measured between 50% of the level of the uh, clock to 50% of the level of the uh, output. So whenever the the clock uh, change. Um, Q will not immediately change uh, even though in the previous diagram we see that clock like this and then Q will be 
also like this, almost like instant, but uh, there is a propagation time uh, delay between the sequence and then the time is measured between 50% point here to that 50% point. So this is the time uh, delay, right? So you can also measure um, the propagation time delay from high to low transition. So from Q high for and then also to Q, for Q to become zero, there is a, there's a time delay that is measured between the moment clock reach 50% point, uh, which is this time, until the Q actually reach 50% of the transition point. So this is the, uh, the, the delay. So normally this delay is very low in terms of uh, nanosecond, but still a delay. So for the case of 74AHC, um, so it's about four nanosecond. Uh, it is uh, faster than blinking of your eye, but actually still delay in the in the in the circuits. So another uh, delay is um, for the asynchronous input. Um, change between the preset and also Q output. Uh, so it is again measured from 50% point uh, that is being triggered going down here until uh, the point that it reached 50% of the Q uh, output, right? So again, the delay is not uh, substantial, but you have to take note that this is a still delay that happens. So between clear uh, and also Q also there is a delay between that 50% from the moment you press clear and then the moment Q responds. So this is the delay. Uh, so another um, things to consider uh, it's about setup time and also hold time uh, before the uh, between the clock and also the trans uh, the the transition. So the setup time is the the time from uh, the data to be present before the clock. So this is considered as setup time, and then the hold time is the 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 time between uh, clock uh, and also uh, D, that's an uh, input here. So this is, these are the concept that, that the, you need to understand uh, in terms of uh, timing uh, characteristic. Okay, so in terms of the application, uh, I, will, I will stop the lecture today here. So in terms of the application, I will cover this uh, on next week. So what is important for you for today is the concept of these uh, flip-flops and how the uh, JK flip-flop works and then also the how the timing diagram correspond to the output. The output correspond to the input of J and K and then the concept of the timing delay. So that is that is the important things that I want to cover for today. So next week, we're going to look at some of the flip-flop applications just to mention to you some of the application is about data storage, uh, frequency divisions, uh, one-shot monostable, uh, multivibrator, and then also a uh, timer is also a concept that is always used in the flip-flops. Uh, so these are the main uh, application that we're going to cover next week. So, so I'm going to stop uh, here. So we will cover some of the application, we talk some of the application next week. So the important things just to recap, so you need to understand about uh, holding time, setup time, you need to understand about the propagation delay characteristic and also the input and output relationship. 
given uh, given J and K. So what will be the Q output? Right, so that's all for today. Um, so kalau ada soalan, I would be happy to take any question that you have for today. And then I also give you tutorial seven. Uh, shortly, I will upload tutorial seven in uh, goals, and then you, I later I will WhatsApp to you who will be in charge for what question. So for tutorial seven, we discuss next Friday. Okay.